Good morning, everybody. It is day three on my Carnivalation cruise, and we are in Nassau, Nassau, however you say it. And today I'm, I am doing the CNC tour. Starts at 9.15. I am down here about 8.30, so I'm a little bit early. So I'm gonna go hang out at the Carnivalation tent. But uh, had to get a coffee this morning, and um, just kind of a, a good day. Uh, we, I think we got into port about eight o'clock, I think is what they it said, but um, came down and now everybody's lining up for their tours. And at least we're in the shade. I think it's a balmy 80, I want to say 85 is what uh, the app said, but yeah, just kind of hanging out. I'll show you guys around real quick. So once again, you know, I keep saying, uh, if you've never been on a cruise before, I'm hoping some of you guys that are watching, you're watching this to see what to expect. But every time you get off or when you get on, when you first get on, they have uh, the little placards or the little uh, stands that say Carnival Elation or Carnival whatever you get your picture taken at. And then every time you get off at a port, they have the same stands like this one says Nassau. I know I'm not saying that right, but you guys know what I mean. But like when you go to like uh, Turks and Caicos, they always have it. It's like, welcome to Turks and Caicos or, you know, I haven't been to Bimmy yet, but I'm sure it's the same thing. So it's just a way to the ships can make money and it's a way that you get a souvenir. Uh, they have the professional photographers and then you go up to Pixels um, and you can buy that picture. But I'm walking in the pier right now. And just gonna show you guys the beautiful water here in the beautiful Bahamas. And yeah. Oh, Carnival Magic's here. I believe Carnival Magic sails out of uh, Miami. It looks like it's a bigger ship. So Carnival Elation is one of the smallest ships Carnival has. Uh, it's about 850 feet long. And I think it holds 3,000 passengers, roughly. And I think Carnival Magic, if I remember my research correctly, I think it's 1,000 feet long. So it's about, what, 150 feet longer? But you can see the size difference. <laughs> Excuse me. Kind of. But here you go. Here they are. There's elation, and there is magic. And here is the beautiful water. Welcome to the Bahamas. All right, so I know I'm doing like a vlog for every day. And like I said, today is day three. And I appreciate you guys all watching, but with the CNC tour, um, you know, last time I was here, I did the swimming with pigs and I, I made a video just for that because I know a lot of people go on there and they can read reviews and reviews are always mixed, right? Like you either love it or you hate it. There's really no in between. It seems like when you see these tours. So what I'm going to do or what I'm hoping to do today is on the seas and seas tour, which what it is just to sum it up, it's a uh, semi submersible. So you go under and I think the bottom of the boat's like five feet underwater so you can see the coral and the fish. And then you do a bus tour of the city and hit all the highlights. So my plan is, and hopefully it works out, is I'll do a separate video of that so that if you are interested when you come to the Bahamas, you can actually go and see that video to see if it's something that you would be interested in so you're not wasting your money. You know, like, and I say that because the swimming with pigs video you know it looks fun it looks cool but when you actually do it and you can see in the video you know you go out there and you don't really swim with pigs you just go out there you feed them hot dogs for about 30 minutes and then you go hang out on pearl island for about five hours and to me it's not worth uh the price of that tour but if you see the video and you're like oh the pigs are cute like i want to see it then hey then at least you know what you're getting because i could write a glowing review or i could write a crappy review but Video doesn't lie, right? Like, if you like the video, if you like what you see, then you know you're gonna like it. 
if you see the video and you're like, oh man, that was a waste of time, or you know, I'm glad I saw the video and I didn't book it, then hey, I feel good, right? Because I saved you guys money or I saved you guys, saved your guys' time. So I'm hoping to do that again on the Seas and Seas tour um, today. So if I'm able to get a good video, I will go ahead and I will put the link in the description below. And um, hopefully you guys go check that out if you are coming to the Bahamas and if that's one of the tours that you guys are interested in. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Bahamas, folks. Uh, welcome on board the Bali Go Ferry. Now, my wife tells it But here is the best part. That is called the Harbor Side. The Harbor Side Resort. Harbor Side. Now, over to the right of the boat, folks, where you see all the big steamboats. This area to the right. This is called Porta Ski Dock. Right here. The crane's got a home with the white roof. It also has two chimneys on top. We are passing it right now, my friends. Right here. Right here. All right, so after the boat ride, we are actually getting ready to transfer to another boat without docking, so this will be interesting. Uh, it was about a 20 minute boat ride to the middle of the ocean or middle of the sea. So let's see how this works out. What's the step, okay, ma'am? Watch your steps. Take your time. Remember, this is vacation. No rush. No rush. Enjoy your trip, okay? My friend? So now we're going on the submersible ship or semi submersible. If you're claustrophobic, this is not the tour for you. Very tight. <laughs> Good, how are you? <laughs> So if you're coming, I would say be one of the first ones in to the boat because there's actually people standing, which I'd be a little upset if I paid for a seat and I had to stand during this whole tour. I want to say a pleasant good morning to everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Can everybody hear me? Yes. yes. Can everybody understand me? Yes. yes. If, if you're caught doing any of those activities, you will win a free Bahamian vacation. That's three meals a day. They're out. That's how we tell the females. They're just like you lovely ladies on board. They love their eyeliner. You went from five feet, now you're entering 20. All in one motion. Now you see for yourself how we got the name, the Bahamas, land of the shallow seas. In a few seconds, I don't want to see you guys the Burger King or McDonald's. That's a no-no. Now I'm like, I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. But I was sitting there thinking about that water slide, you know, about there. I said, I'm a good. Okay, I'm kind of like stumped. Okay. All right, so the tour was, I would say, probably between 30 and 45 minutes. We didn't see a lot of fish on my side, but on the other side, uh, I was told there was a lot of fish. It's just random, right? Because, uh, you know, there's wildlife. 
the sea captain was actually feeding the fish, so you'd see him go up to the surface, and then they'd come back down. And uh, it was a pretty cool tour. Um, I do get motion sickness, so I wish I would have took Dramamine. But, you know, you take like a 20 minute boat ride out here and it's rocky. And then obviously you're in the boat, so that's a little rocky too, but not too bad. And now we are getting ready to transfer back to the boat to go do the land portion, the, the tour of actually uh, the city. So overall, it's still fun. Um, just wish I saw more fish, to be honest. They're pretty easy. I mean, it's kind of foolproof. Watch yourself, be very careful. Thank you, Doug. So I always thought Disney cruise ships were big, but there it is. And the one on the end is Royal Caribbean. Looks like a lot of fun, all the stuff they have on top, but it's really not that big. It's not as big as I thought it was. Carnival Magic is bigger than it. <laughs> All right, so we just completed the, the seas portion. We spent about two hours on a boat, in case you're curious. And now we are walking to get on the bus to do the land portion, which is about an hour or two around the city. Wait, wait. Bye, Ricky, okay, my friends? Hello. How are you? How's it going, sir? Good. Right here? Sure, wherever. I, don't, I just don't want to be a fat guy. Okay. What's the the statue or the 50th, the 50th thing over there? That's the that's how long we've been in power for ourselves from the Queen. Right there's the statue of Queen Victoria. Look, the, the thing building up to the right here is the Gucci shop. You have your credit card. Now the green building to the left there is a, is a Chinese restaurant. To the left, San Soccer Stadium. Also the bridge that goes over to Paradise Island is the Sydney Preachers Bridge. Fort Montague was built in 1741 by Peter Henry Bruce to protect the east end of the island. It was never used. One of the oldest church in the island, it was built in 1802. And around the church is the old cemetery. People are just dying to get in. <laughs> All right, so I just got off the tour, uh, the land portion of the Seas and Seas tour. And to be honest, I would not recommend it. Um, we basically just rode in a tour bus for 40 minutes. We didn't get a stop. We didn't get to go out and see anything. Uh, we saw the Queen's staircase from a distance. Um, it just, the tour guy wasn't really very friendly. As soon as we got on there, the first thing he said was everybody needs to be quiet and uh, definitely not his calling. So I would recommend if you're gonna, if you're interested in it and you wanna see the sites, I would actually look at another tour uh, like I said, we just drove around in a bus and uh, he just pointed out stuff like a school, a private hospital, uh, the embassies. So I would look elsewhere if you wanted to actually like see the places. Just my two cents. But now I'm going to go out into the city and try to find a local uh, bohemian beer, see what the official brand is here. I saw a sign. I don't remember, though, but. I'm gonna go try to check it out, so let's go look in the city. So this is the beer of the Bahamas. I'm gonna go ahead and try it. I mean, why not? I'm in the Bahamas. I'm from it's not bad. Somebody said Sands beer, which I can find, but they said Sands beer is pretty good, which is not our local beer. 
but I just want the experience. Why not try local? Now I'm gonna go ahead and just go in some of these shops and see what's going on. Long live the queen. So one of the cool things is uh, when people see me with my camera, they usually ask what I'm doing. And uh, I just got a new subscriber in the Bahamas. He's from Tennessee, pretty cool. So I appreciate it. So he's gonna leave me a follow. All right, so I was able to try some local beer, went to a local bar, and now I think I'm heading back to the ship. I will be ne back here next week, and I'll be able to do my shopping and all that stuff. I don't have any excursions planned for next week, so uh, just gonna kind of check out what they have right at the port. There's a bunch of little shops and stuff, so I'll show you guys that too. Just gonna kind of walk through and see what they got. I do love all the colors of the buildings here. Very vibrant. A lot of pink. A lot of the government buildings are pink. Ship, you gotta show your passport, and this is the line for that. All right, now I'm through the checkpoint, now I'm just getting ready to go back on. Here's our ships again. Carnival Elation is definitely the smallest ship here. Royal Caribbean looks fun though, with all that stuff. Where's my finger? Looks a lot of fun with all that stuff up top. Looks like a cool water park. And then Disney, I'm really surprised how small Disney is. I, uh, I always thought they were bigger just based off of the price. Like I said, it's about three times more expensive than every other uh, cruise line. But there it is, there's the Disney one. Everybody wants to wait in the first line. 
I'll walk down to the second one. I ain't afraid of a little walking in the sun to get on the boat that much sooner. Plus, I think my room's over here anyway. <laughs> All right, and here is my towel animal of the day. What do you guys think it is? It's amazing the creativity these people have uh, doing these towels, so it's pretty cool. Obviously, it's a frog, but yeah, so I just got back on ship, obviously. Just got back to my room. I'm going to just drop my bag off basically and then go up and get me another Guy Fieri burger or see what the buffet has. Um, so yeah, now I'm just going to hang out the rest of the day. I don't think there's a whole lot going on today because it was a port day. Tomorrow we are going to be at Princess K's. I believe that's the name of it. I could have that messed up too, but tomorrow we're going to be at another port. But uh, right now I'm just going to go hang out, go get some lunch and uh, see what's going on on the ship. So. All right, right now I am in the elevator going up to the ninth floor. I'm going to go get a margarita and then do one of my favorite things, and that is sit on the pier and see if we can find any pier runners, since we're supposed to be on the boat at 4.30. So you got the rum bar and you got the tequila bar uh, on the Lido deck. I'm gonna go over to the tequila bar and get their spicy margarita. I'm gonna get the uh, spicy margarita. I prefer my uh, margaritas on the rocks. I don't like the frozen ones. coolest straws they're edible they have uh, strawberry ones lime ones and chocolate ones depending on your drink delicious it's like a spicy pineapple margarita I love it So it's pretty empty right here right now because it's a port day and everybody is still out of port or the majority of people are probably still out of port. Um, 4.30 is when they're supposed to be back on the ship. So in about 20 minutes, I'm gonna make my way to the side of the ship so I can watch the pier. And like I said, see if there's any pier runners. Um, they're funny to watch, you know, sometimes people are so hammered, they're stumbling down the walkway or the, the pier. Um, it's fun. <laughs> I've never seen anybody miss the boat, but there are YouTube videos of people missing the boat, the pier runners, so so to say, or so-called pier runners. So just hanging out right now, enjoying the view. All right, so I'm out on the other deck. I thought there was a lower deck, but I guess not but we can still watch from here. Or maybe not, because they're gonna run towards the other one. I'm trying to think if I could get there. Let's go look and see if there's another closer uh, outer deck. Here we go. Now I'm in a better deck to watch. Yeah, now I can see people. Look below. We are watching the lemon. I do like how they're all uh, all the houses are painted, uh, fun colors. I said earlier in the video, a lot of the um, government buildings are pink, but you see a lot of blues and pinks. Corals, green. I bet it's a fun place to live.
but everybody's supposed to be on board at 4 30 so i'm just going to kind of hang out and then tonight i don't think there's really anything planned they have karaoke every night i don't really know what i'm gonna do yet uh i went to bed early last night just because i knew i had the c's and c's tour today plus um i do get motion sickness on a boat so i didn't want to be like hung over anything so i went to bed early last night tonight i'll probably check out the piano bar because i've never been there um obviously i'll go by the atrium probably do some people watching outside the casino because that's my favorite spot and listen to some live music and that's about it so yeah we'll see but i'll bring you guys along all right so it's 4 30 and it looks like everybody made it back on the ship which is a good thing don't get me wrong but it's always fun to watch people coming up running last minute But at least now we can leave on time with no issues. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, head back in now and uh, see what else I can get into. All right, so I got a, another margarita. This one's called By the Guana. It's basically a margarita with peach schnapps. And it's not my favorite. So when I was in high school, um, I used to work at a bar. And when the bar closed, they mixed peach schnapps and I believe it's cinnamon schnapps together and I got drunk off it and puked all over and got sick and ever since then I am not able to drink peach schnapps I figured after 20 years I'd be good mm. I can drink peach tea I can drink peach whatever peach is one of my favorite flavors but when it comes to peach schnapps that's a no bueno that's a tequila it makes me speak Spanish <laughs> anyway, so now I'm still just hanging out, gonna go do some people watching, so let's go. Hello. I feel like you got nervous. Alright, so now I'm on the Lido deck and they are getting ready to do a pre-party for the 1030 party out here so just kind of hanging out to see what it all entails um, just kind of hanging out I like being out here at night because I like all the cool lights and all that stuff plus it's a lot cooler so let's go ahead and see what uh, what the party consists of <laughs> And that is day three on my five-day carnival elation cruise to the Bahamas. 
Uh, the big thing today is it was a port day, so I went in and I did the, the Seas and Seas tour, which I would not recommend it, um, just being honest. I don't think it was worth it. Um, and then, you know, the afternoon I, I just spent just kind of just hanging out on the boat, uh, going to a couple bars, got a couple margaritas and all that good stuff. But if you made it this far, I appreciate it. And don't forget to hit, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because uh, I still got two more days of the trip. Plus, I'm going to hopefully post the, the Seas and Seas tour, like the complete breakdown or the complete uh, tour, if you're interested in it, in a separate video so you can actually see, you know, what it actually consists of. And then, uh, like I said, I got two more days here. Tomorrow I'm going to go to Princess K and hopefully, you know, kind of tour the island there and have another video on that. And then I also want to tour the the ship do like a deck by deck walk through it so you guys can see that so that'll be another video coming up so once again don't forget don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh if you made it this far i appreciate you guys watching and uh until next time have a great day and i'll talk to you all later bye